If you're a portrait photographer or a headshot photographer, or do any type of photography where delivering retouched images is part of your workflow, then you really need to check out this AI program by Evoto. Evoto AI is equipped with powerful tools specifically designed for portrait retouching. The AI powered skin retouching tools delivers natural and realistic images delivered in literally seconds. Evoto is definitely the most realistic looking AI retouching software I have used. There are many out there that look a bit fake, don't give you that much control. Evoto is completely different. It gives me so much flexibility. There is so much control versus other AI programs. I no longer need to use Photoshop for any of their retouching tools anymore. I do everything within Evoto and can do it in seconds. And I wanna show you how I do that today. And why is this important? Why would you even have Evoto edit your images for you? Well, let's just say that you're a family photographer about to offer Christmas mini sessions as Christmas is coming up. Well, imagine being able to edit all of the images within seconds so that you can have more time to spend with your family or even have just more time to do the bit that we actually all love, which is actually shooting the photos. Because of course, retouching can be very time consuming and this completely takes away all of that painstaking process. So you can just enjoy the holiday, spend time with your family or even book more shoots. Okay, so this is the home screen. I'm gonna go into my project. So this is an image of my niece, Alicia. Over here on the left, we have some presets. These are presets that are dialed in already with Evoto. These can do a combination of different things. Not only can it will tweak the color, but it will obviously do retouching for you. You can also add your own presets. So let's have a look and just see to start with what one of their presets looks like. Uh, let's go down to the headshot ones. Let's just go headshot one. It says combination because what it's gonna do there, it's gonna do a combination of not only retouching, but it's also going to tweak the color for us as well. I'll show you those individual panels in a moment, but just to show you, there's presets built in. If we hit headshot one, boom, straight away, um, it changes the retouching, it changed the hair, it's changed all sorts. You can even come over here to the right hand side and open up all the individual panels, just like Lightroom, so that you can see exactly what has been changed. So I'm gonna undo that. Over here on the right is the color adjustments. This is very similar to probably what you're used to in Lightroom. We are looking at a straight out of camera raw image, by the way, which is why nothing's been tweaked, but I'm gonna adjust the color right at the very end so that we, for the before and after, we're only looking at the change in the retouching and then we'll change the color very briefly at the end. So that's what we used to, we're gonna leave that for now. Let's go over down to the portrait retouching. So there is a ton of features in here. One of the things that I love most about Evoto is just the sheer amount of flexibility that you have. There are sliders in here that you'll probably think, oh my God, didn't know I needed that until I saw it. What's great is Evoto has already automatically defined who the person is. So if we go here, it's defined as female. In a moment, I can show you a group shot and it will define male, female, and child. And what's great about Evoto automatically defining that is you can make different adjustments depending on the gender or the age of the person, for example. So for now, let's have a look. So let's zoom in here. Uh, so let's start with the first one. This is freckles and acne. So if I just zoom that up to 100%, boom, that is straight away gone. If I hit the space bar, we can see a before and after. Already, this looks so much better and we're literally only on the first tool. There's a little tick box, check box, so whether you wanna keep the mole on people's faces. So Alicia has one little mole here. So if I tap that, that gets rid of that straight away. All right, let's scroll down. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, dark, dark circles, we increase that. So dark circles and eye bags work really well together in combination. Glasses glare, that's a really good one. If someone has glasses, it will get rid of the glare in someone's eyes, which is really, really cool. Obviously, Alicia's not wearing glasses here. Smile line, if we increase that to 100%, we can see the difference it makes. Obviously, we don't wanna go too far with some of these sliders, we wanna dial it back so we have some realism still remaining in the shop. If we zoom in, we also have uh, lip wrinkles and flakes. Turn that up to 100%, so any little tiny imperfections in people's lips, it's gonna get rid of. But again, it's still retaining that, that detail. So you can see that before and after on just uh, the lips specifically. Uh, smooth face, dodge and burn. So the difference between a normal skin smoothing and dodge and burn is dodge and burn will just even out the tones again while still retaining the detail in the skin. 
Now if I just crank that up just to even out some of the tones uh, here, we've got face skin smoothing. Now this is where of course you can very easily take it too far. I'm actually gonna leave it completely on zero. I don't think it needs anything. I think the dodge and burn has done really well, especially with the acne and freckles slider as well. Skin texture, we can go for a matted look. That's just gonna get rid of some of the shine that was on Alicia's forehead from the reflection that was happening from the modifier that I was using. We can have a more satin look, so that's even more uh, enhanced, and, and do it is even stronger, which is too strong in my opinion. If we go for a satin, we can see exactly what is happening again. We're still having that control. It's not just a button and it's either on or off. We can see exactly what is being defined as satin, for example, or what's defined as matte. We can see the glossy texture and clarity are changing accordingly, and of course, tweak it for our own custom look as well. Scroll down to the skin color. So this is gonna be great. We've got some tools here. If uh, if a woman has applied makeup and maybe the makeup color is slightly different to what it is on her neck and chest, these tools here will help even out the color and those tones here as well. So we've got the AI Unify Face Complexion. Now Alicia's complexion here doesn't really need adjusting. We'll see how this performs on another image later. But if we go to the Unify Body Complexion, we can see there's a little bit of red um, down on Alicia's chest. And if I turn that up, we can just see that it's slightly brightened the neck and chest area here, just to match Alicia's face. Now, if we want to take this further, we've got some preset colors here that will change the, uh, the color of the face and the chest. In this, in this example. So let's find a skin color that closely resembles Alyssa's skin color. So let's go for that one. We can change the amount. So let's just dial it up a touch and it makes her skin look a little bit warmer. We can play with the skin radiance as well. So that just gives it a little bit extra overall shine. I'm gonna leave that though at zero. And rosy complexion, we can make the skin tone just a little bit more magenta. Again, I'm gonna leave that at zero though. I don't think it needs it. Let's go down to the eyes. Uh, let's zoom in so we can brighten the eyes slightly. And then from there, we can then uh, play with the iris flare. That's usually the bit just at the bottom of the eyes. So if I turn that up, we can just see the bottom of the eye just brightening up a little bit there, just adding even more of a spark to the eyes. Removing red veins. So Alicia has very tiny red veins there, but if I zoom that to 100% and that's gone completely. Now I'm probably gonna bring down the brightness of the eyes just a little bit and the red veins just a little bit again just to keep uh, that little bit more realistic look i think when you adjust the eyes too much i think that's a very telltale sign that some sort of retouching has happened is when the whites of the eyes are too bright so i'm gonna really dial this down because i really don't want that to be uh, an obvious thing we've got the lip makeup we can add a little bit more color I'm gonna leave it again at zero, but the dimensionality is a pretty cool one. Again, it just kind of uh, adds more of a, it almost contours the lips um, and just makes it a little bit more punchy. So, so I'm gonna leave that about there. Moving down to the hair. Um, this is a great one. This is a fairly new one. We've got remove stray hairs. If I increase that all the way up to 100 and we make note of the hairs here in particular, if I move that to 100 and bang, straight away, that has all gone. That is a very, very tedious process. If you've ever tried to clean up stray hairs in Photoshop, that is a very tedious thing to do. Full body reshape, we don't have a full length here. Um, so I think I'm pretty much happy with that. If we'd see a before and after, and let me just finally tweak the uh, color. So I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool to adjust the white balance on the gray backdrop that was behind and then very quickly go to the uh, lens correction so that it can just fix that vignette. And there we go, there is our before and after. So one thing I forgot to mention before in the video is it also has, Evoto has also has background adjustments. If I wanted to, I can completely change the background with, again, only one click. So if I go to this fabric one, instantly it changes and I can change the opacity, change the size of it. Um, I can have just a clean white background or just a transparency background if the client is planning to put the headshots onto their own uh, logo or their own branding as well. So that's also very useful for that as well. Also has sky replacements as well, which is quite useful if you ever need it. Um, but there's so many options already built into the program. And you can, of course, 
upload your own as well. Now, finally, I just want to crop in uh, just ever so slightly. And if I go to the original, uh, you can go to AI headshot crop and that will automatically crop the image in for you. So if I go down to this one, you can see how it's prioritizing the face and it's gone in. Um, but personally, I like to crop my headshot slightly differently. I like to move it down. I don't have a problem with cropping the top of the head. And then you can, of course, save that as your own preset as I've already done here. So if I go down to my crop presets, do that and then hit OK. And there is my finished one ready to go. Now, if I want to copy everything I've done and apply that to all of the images, that's no problem at all. I can go to edit, copy, and I can highlight all of the ones down here and go to sync, effect sync to three images. And that's now going to think about it, processing, and there we go. It's now applying it to all of those images for me. Now let's just say I want to save this as my own preset. So like the presets we saw at the start, we can save this as our very own. So we can just simply go down to save preset, give it a name, let's call it um, group names, so let's call it, call it headshot. And then give it a name and I'm going to call it uh, woman retouch. And then hit save. Now, when I come over to my presets, go over to headshots and we can see woman retouch is there. So we can now apply that to any image in the future. Now let's look at another image. This is from a Christmas mini session, which I did last year. This again is straight out of camera. So if you're someone that offers mini sessions, then this is the perfect bit of software for you to use for that so that you can get some time back, hang out with your family at Christmas without having to be bogged down with so many edits needing to be done. But anyway, let's have a look. As I said previously, the program defines who's a male, who's a female, who's a child. If I go here, we can see that it's done that already for me. So if I tap the female, I can begin editing the female. So if I zoom in here a little bit. Again, let's start with the freckles and acne. I usually like to put that up to 100%. Now you can see Alice has a little bit of skin irritation on her neck, so body blemish is gonna really help with that. So if I crank that up. Now again, this isn't gonna smooth it out. It actually detects it, removes it, and still keeps the skin detail there as well. If we wanna smooth the body, we can do so. That's in another slider. But for now, I'm gonna leave this at around 79, 80%. Now we can see there's quite a bit of reflection on Alice's face from the light that I use. So reduce face shine is gonna really help with that. If I crank that to 100%, that's already worked really, really lovely. And I'm gonna scroll down to the uh, AI Unified Body Complexion. So again, if I crank that up, that's just going to brighten the neck area there, just to balance out the color of Alice's face versus her neck. So if we already have a look at before and after of what we've done so far, we can already see a ton of improvement. If I go down to teeth touch up, we can uh, whiten the teeth. We can see by ticking this box, pretty teeth, it actually changes and uh, almost recreates that a whole new mouth for Alice as well. I think I'm gonna leave that off though. I'm going to very quickly scroll back up to the eye, to the eye wrinkles and down again to the hair to do remove stray hairs. That, and that reduces that down and smooths it out really, really nicely. We could even, if we wanted to, change the color of Alice's hair. This is a brand new feature. I'm literally seeing this in real time. This is pretty crazy. But I think Alice will be expecting her own hair color for this one. So I'm happy with that. So let's now say we want to move on to editing his face. We just then hit male and that resets everything so that we can then begin editing the male. Same with this image, if we go and see how it's defined, it knows who the male and who the child is. So if I start with the male again, I'm gonna go down to that beard protection. Make sure that's ticked so that everything else I do, the beard is preserved. Let's zoom in, see a before and after on the skin. We can see looking at the detail, how it retains that detail but just takes away some of those blemishes on the face. We can see we've got a couple of uh, spots and freckles on the neck. So if we go to we go to body blemish and turn that up. We can see that gets rid of those nicely again, retaining the detail as well. So I'm gonna go down to the eyes and remove red veins. There we go, beautiful, lovely, easy. Just, just easy. 
We turn on uh, Pretty Teeth, we can see how it does indeed adjust the mouth. Again, I'm gonna leave that off. Let's take a look at one more image from this Christmas uh, mini session. Uh, so one of the things that I can notice is uh, uh, the girl has, uh, I think it's maybe uh, eczema or some sort of skin irritation on, on their face. So if I scroll down to AI Unify Face Complexion and crank that up, straight away that's already got rid of those imperfections on the face scroll back up to the freckle and acne already with just those two sliders alone it looks so so much better already so let's just say you've done all of your editing on both male female and child you can then save that as a preset and just call it your mini sessions so that when you apply that to all future images it will only apply the woman retouching effects to the woman, only the male retouching effects to the male, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So literally within seconds, you can have fully retouched images. And an even better feature is if you're doing say commercial headshots and you're taking your laptop along and you want to tether, you can tether directly into a Voto have it apply one of your already created presets so that within seconds after appearing in the laptop, it will apply that preset, have a client come over, pick their favorite image, and by the end of the day, you have all the selects, you've just got to export the selected images, and your post-processing is done before you've even left the building. How cool is that? So if you want to give this a go, if you want to impress your clients by offering same day editing, if you want to claw some time back, if you're doing Christmas mini sessions this year, then do give this a go. If you use my link, you'll get 33 credits. If you sign up, normally you only get five. So please make sure to use my link for those extra free credits to really give this program a go. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please make sure you hit the like or share button or subscribe if you are watching this on YouTube. And as always, I will see you again next time. Cheers guys, bye bye.